Hello, and welcome to what is now our annual update on Ampere's progress, strategy, and roadmap. Ampere is now four plus years old, and we've developed and delivered to the market the first cloud native processors designed for peak market performance and optimal power utilization in an energy challenged world. Our Ampere Ultra 80 core and Ampere Ultra Max 128 core cloud native processors have been shipping to customers for revenue for over a year. And what a year it's been. There have been so many world events, supply chain challenges, and the effects of the pandemic to contend with. But despite all that, Ampere has been able to deliver products, double the size of our team, as we scale and ramp delivery to our customers. Our customers have been deploying the products into their production data centers and are now realizing the benefits of our design choices and the balance of top tier performance and power efficiency of cloud native in their own data centers. Ampere has been shipping its 80 core Ultra since 2020 and the Ultra Max 128 core processor has been shipping since 2021. Today, we'll update you on what we're delivering this year as well as the progress our customers have been making with our products. Let's start with Microsoft. Today's cloud technology serves a vast variety of workloads. Whether customers are digitally transforming and modernizing their applications and businesses, or building innovative distributed apps and services that the world has never seen before. Customers face a complex set of challenges as they deploy this broad range of workloads globally from the edge to the cloud. Serving this growing need requires an equally broad range of solutions. We believe this calls for a new breed of operationally efficient cloud-native computing solutions that can meet these needs with sustainable growth in infrastructure footprint and energy consumption. Addressing these evolving customer needs requires innovative technology in both hardware and software. Microsoft is uniquely positioned to help foster these innovations through our collaboration with Ampere. Over 25 years of experience with ARM technologies enabled us to develop important industry standards that prepared the ARM architecture for cloud-scale computing. We've also pioneered academic research informed by our extensive operational experience running large fleets to uncover new ideas about how to design servers and CPUs to create even better platforms. Last month, we announced the preview of new Azure Virtual Machine series featuring the Ampere Ultra ARM-based processor. These new VMs are engineered to efficiently run scale-out cloud-native workloads like web and application services, modern data analytics platforms, and open source distributed systems. They're also great for modern applications written in languages like Java, Rust, Go, and c -sharp, gaming and media servers, and other popular workloads. This new VM series includes both general purpose DPS v5 and memory optimized EPS v5 VMs featuring Ampere Ultra processors. Both deliver compelling value for customers by leveraging remarkable power efficiencies and improved price performance. There's a lot of excitement and interest from preview customers who are planning to run a variety of Linux workloads on the new VMs in addition to Windows 11 software. We believe the next generation of computing infrastructure needs to be cloud native, designed from the ground up for modern microservices, containers, and serverless software technologies. We continue to see many customers adopting Azure Kubernetes service as their cloud native platform. And that's why we're also making the price performance of the Ampere Ultra processor available through this powerful managed Kubernetes service. Today, I'm thrilled to say that ARM-based systems in the cloud have arrived, and we're excited to continue collaborating with Ampere and the broader partner and community ecosystem to bring these innovative technologies to customers and their workloads around the world. As you heard from Microsoft, they're seeing the realizable benefits of Ampere's cloud-native approach. But Microsoft isn't the only customer that's deployed Ampere Ultra 80 core and Ultramax 128 core this year. Oracle Cloud launched Ampere Ultra-based A1 VMs and bare metal instances a year ago. Tencent Cloud created Ampere Ultra-based SR1 instances. Alibaba Cloud not only launched C6R and G6R instances on Ampere Ultra, but also launched an Ampere-based service focused on mobile cloud gaming. 
Equinix Metal launched a bare metal instance and Ampere processors are also available in 18 Global Edge locations. Cloudflare has been able to service 57% more internet requests per watt with Ampere Ultra processors than with x86 CPUs. JD.com released two Ampere Ultra processor based SKUs, one for compute and one for storage. UCloud is offering Ampere cloud native processors to their customers for compute intensive needs. And in Europe, Hetzner is releasing its first Ampere cloud native processor service for its customers, those who value both its innovation and efficient approach. And while this is a great list, it's only the customers that are publicly announced. We have many more announcements right around the corner, so stay tuned on that piece. Another movement in the market this past year has been the increasing importance of global climate initiatives and corporate ESG goals. Sustainability makes the move to Ampere an imperative. As cloud demand doubles over the next few years, using legacy x86 processors to meet it will require two times the power and one and a half times the data center real estate than is already currently consumed. Given the power, carbon, water, and other environmental impacts of this unconstrained build-out, it's just simply not an option. If you were to use Ampere Cloud native processors for the build-out, we could deliver an additional two times the compute demand by 2025, but consume less power and less real estate than is being used today. On that note, I'm gonna turn things over to Jeff Wittick, our Chief Product Officer, to give you a detailed update on our exceptional product performance and the progress we've made on Ultra and Ultra Max products, as well as our software and developer momentum. I will return to talk about what comes next with the Ampere Developed Core and our five nanometer products at the end of Jeff's comments. Over to you, Jeff. What an amazing list of customers running on Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max. You just heard from Microsoft how the data center world has changed and why a cloud native approach is necessary to address the modern needs of today's businesses, which rely on immense compute power with the best performance for a consistent experience. Ampere designed, built, and delivered the world's first and only cloud native processors. The 80-core Ampere Ultra and 128-core Ampere Ultra Max processors have shipped to the market over the past 18 months. No other processors come within half the number of cores as Ampere. With over 40 server platforms supporting the Ampere Ultra family of processors and seven of the world's largest hyperscalers deploying them in their data centers, Ampere's cloud-native processors are accessible to anyone in the world today. So why are companies deploying Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max in the cloud today? First and foremost, it's about performance. Ampere's high performance single threaded cores combined with maximum core count and the lowest power per core results in performance leadership across cloud workloads. Ampere's cloud native processors are general purpose processors that run all applications in the cloud. From web servers to databases and caching solutions to video encoding, and even AI inference. Ampere leads legacy x86 processors in performance by up to three times, and in performance per watt by almost four times. And beyond x86, Ampere's cloud native processors lead all data center processors in cloud performance, regardless of ISA. Users clearly value the leadership and uniqueness of Ampere's processors. Let's hear from some of them. At OCI, I talk to a lot of customers and partners about why Ampere is really the future of cloud computing. So we're talking big social media companies, high performance computing customers, and even our own most demanding workloads within Oracle. They all have qualified and are using ARM Ampere A1 because it's just a much better platform for them. So by using OCI built around Ampere A1, we've been able to increase the number of simulations we run by around 25%. When you're running billions of simulations, that's a significant improvement. And if you're talking about tens of seconds to make a decision that can cost you millions of dollars, that is very, very powerful. Ampere processors allow us to provide the compute capacity that we need and the performance that we need at a very cost-effective rate. 
What we've developed today has the potential to improve the lives of millions of patients that have been diagnosed with cancer. To deliver these insights, we can leverage Ampere A1 for AI because it is reliable, efficient, and cost-effective, and that allows us to deliver those insights and improve care um, at scale. In addition to leadership in these top-line performance and efficiency metrics, Ampere's cloud-native processors contain features that are critical for the modern cloud. Legacy architectures tailored for older enterprise or even client applications have been the only option for the past decade. But that's no longer the case. Ampere started with a clean sheet of paper and designed a new type of processor with a unique architecture and design approach from the ground up. We started with high core count since that's the fundamental unit of compute in the cloud. However, and this is why a completely new design is needed, we also delivered more performance in a predictable manner to avoid interference between users, scalability for maximum utilization of resources, and efficiency to deliver more cloud capacity in the same power and data center footprint. All of the above resulted in the world's first cloud-native processor. Ampere's cloud-native processors deliver maximum performance for cloud workloads and reduce undesirable performance variation caused from having multiple users on a server by running only a single thread on each core and by operating at a high consistent frequency. While the performance of legacy CPUs drops when additional users and workloads run on a server, Ampere's performance remains consistently high. Ampere delivers maximum scalability with up to 128 cores, twice that of any other CPU, and by using large, low-latency private caches for each core. These high-performance cores are all connected by an intelligent high-bandwidth mesh. While legacy CPUs produce diminishing returns when demand increases, Ampere's performance continues to scale linearly up to max utilization. Our cloud-native processors are also designed with leading DDR and PCIe technology for maximum capacity and bandwidth for memory and I.O. Plus, all of the necessary server class RAS, manageability, and platform security features enable scale-out deployments and exceptional out-of-the-box experience for our customers. The sum of all of this innovation across the CPU has resulted in countless users seeing amazing results on Ampere. For example, Plesk, the popular web hosting platform, implemented their fastest product ramp ever by introducing Plesk at Oracle Cloud on Ampere Ultra. Over 1,000 instances were launched in just the first month, with users attracted to the efficiency and performance of the solution. Many other end users like Red Bull Racing, Jenny Mobile, the University of Melbourne, the University of Bristol, and the University of Jena are benefiting from Ampere processors in the cloud. And that's not all. It's a marriage made in heaven, if you take a really look at it that way. Um, Ampere is having like a lot of number of cores, a lot of I.O. and you know, very highly performant cores, where Supermicro, we want to bring the right uh, value to the customers in terms of bringing the TCO and bringing the right application optimized solution. When you bring these things together, it's going to be an ideal combination for customers. We see uh, several advantages using the Ampere processors in our storage solutions. Um, because of the high memory bandwidth, um, as well as the number of PCIe lanes, um, we can deliver a solution that is optimized around I.O. traffic. It's always great to collaborate with really good technology partners and, and having Ampere um, working alongside us on configuring an architecture that really works for storage um, helps so much in again, delivering a total solution. Another significant requirement of the cloud era is sustainability. This is becoming increasingly important and time is running out to make dramatic changes to reduce our power and carbon consumption. Green data centers start with green compute and Ampere's cloud native processors are the most power efficient processors for data centers, running all general purpose workloads. The Ampere Ultra family delivers twice the performance and half the power of even the best legacy x86 processors. This efficiency is allowing our customers to meet their ambitious climate goals. Let's hear directly from them. Ampere is a very important partner with Ampere. 
，安培处理器的高性能、高能效会帮助百度双碳目标的达成。未来，希望百度与安培的合作联手走向新的阶段，共同助力产业智能化升级，同时共创数字化和绿色化的新未来。Ampere helps us reach our goal of being carbon neutral by 2025 by offering the most energy efficient CPUs available. When we combine the compute efficiency per watt of Ampere CPUs with the carbon footprint per watt of our data centers, we achieve the lowest emissions for a given workload anywhere. We have been working with other partners as well to extend the sustainability of our power-efficient cloud-native processors. Cloud & Heat is a service provider that is pioneering a circular economy approach where they productively utilize the heat that is generated as a byproduct of running a data center. Given that Ampere's processors deliver more performance than legacy x86 processors, Cloud & Heat will be able to produce significantly higher performance for a similar heat profile. And Left Dome Mine Data Center in Norway can leverage their world-class efficiency and density to provide more than 2.4 times more cores per rack with Ampere processors. This will make their green data centers even more environmentally friendly. How do Ampere's cloud-native processors deliver maximum efficiency? Again, it comes down to building something new and specific to the cloud. Our power and area-optimized design eliminates the baggage of legacy features that aren't desirable in the cloud. As a result, Ampere's power per core is over 67% lower than legacy CPUs. This means more compute per watt, as well as the ability to deliver more performance in cores than ever before possible at power-constrained edge locations. Scaling to all locations and all types of clouds is required for the modern era. Because the same Ampere products running in large warehouse data centers can also run as high-performance, low-power edge cloud-native processors, Ampere Ultra is running in places like Equinix Metal at the edge. For instance, Ampere Ultra can scale power down to an extraordinary 40 watts for 32 cores, or less than 70 watts for 64 cores. That means that our 32-core processor consumes 4.6 times less power than an equivalent x86 CPU. This opens up segments that our competitors can't even reach, such as Cruise's self-driving vehicles. Our demands for the future in terms of processing speed are really, really high. Um, and really, there was nowhere else to go to. Um, everywhere else we looked at doesn't have the pure processing speed in, in the way that Cruise needs it to be able to manage our whole uh, throughput of, of the data coming from our sensors. and so. The, the precise specifications that we aspire to, there was only one go-to partner, and Ampere was that partner. Given all these amazing usages for Ampere's technology, we care deeply about unleashing the creativity of the developer community and matchmaking it with our world-class processors. With Ampere Ultra family cloud-native processors available at Oracle Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Tencent Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, and Equinix Metal, there are plenty of public clouds in which to get started. Not only that, but there's a growing list of ODM and OEM servers from Foxconn, Gigabyte, Inspur, Supermicro, and WeWin, with more coming soon, if you'd prefer to touch the hardware itself. We also have dev kits available from partners like Gigabyte and 80 Link for usages spanning AI and autonomous driving. Plus, software development platforms are available from 80 Link and Avantech. We're also continuing to expand our Ampere developer program. We now have a robust set of over 130 applications undergoing daily regression and updated on the site. We have solutions ranging from databases to AI inferencing, and we're inviting you to take part in the community. Join our developer access programs, share your solutions, bring Ampere servers into your communities, and give us your feedback. Earlier, I showed our performance lead in terms of both throughput and latency on AI inference. AI is a significant growth area within the cloud, and inference in particular is usually run side by side with other cloud workloads. 
To further help developers, we've created an entire solution stack to make it easy to run popular frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch right out of the box on Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max, and hit those performance numbers on a variety of networks. Even if you're just getting started on your first AI project, we have easy to use tutorials to get you up and running on Ampere cloud-based instances in minutes. Speaking of areas of fast-paced innovation, we're actively working on many other types of compute for other important workloads as we expand upon our cloud vision. For instance, quantum computing is emerging as one of the most transformative technologies in the world. It is expected to enable scientists and engineers to address problems of extreme computational complexity in areas like climate change, fusion energy, and drug development. Ampere has partnered with Brigetti to create hybrid quantum classical computers designed to unlock a new generation of machine learning applications over the cloud. Together, we will integrate Brigetti quantum processing units with Ampere Ultra Max cloud native processors to create a hybrid computing environment intended to meet the rigorous demands of machine learning applications. Wow, that is a lot of progress in just one short year. But there is one more thing. Renee, do you want to talk about what comes next? As we all know, there's always something that comes next in technology. Ampere is an invention company. We have filed hundreds of patents and we have developed many unique features and capabilities associated with our products. We're also an ARM architecture licensee and have developed our own cores for our products going forward, starting with our new five nanometer products. As we are now talking about our Ampere developed core-based products, we're going to have two families of products and I wanna explain this a little bit. Our products coexist. They have features and performance for different workloads, market segments, and application use, like our 32 core 40 watt products for edge use and our max performance 128 core product that still fits in 125 watts, but is used for demanding workloads by hyperscalers. Customers can seamlessly move workloads between all of our Ampere processors. Also, we do not obsolete our roadmap when we offer a new product. In the consumer electronics business, the newer products obsolete the prior generation. That isn't the case with the Ampere Cloud Native Roadmap. Ampere Ultra 80 Core and Ultra Max 128 are the mainstay of customer designs. In addition, the same customers are adding new Ampere 5 nanometer products for even further performance and feature evolution based on Ampere's own core inventions. Today, we're letting all of you know that we've been sampling our newest product, Ampere One. Ampere One is an Ampere core based five nanometer product that supports PCI Gen 5 and DDR5 on the platform. We're excited about the initial feedback and performance our customers are experiencing with our latest Ampere cloud native processor. Ampere One represents the journey for which Ampere was started. To bring our ideas, our innovation, our expertise, all to the industry in the form of a cloud native core and a processor built for the future of where the cloud and data centers are going in a more sustainable world. You will hear more about the performance, the number of cores and other exciting capabilities of the Ampere One as we get further into the year. With sampling already begun, Ampere continues to move forward on our annual cadence of products as we've committed every year. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your busy day to learn about Ampere's progress and the roadmap and follow our journey into what comes next in computing. Stay healthy and well.